actually lubricated it, put some WD-40 in here, actually turned the, the unit upside down and banged the brass surface gently against this, just enough to knock it loose and what you should see is this moving up like this. Do you see that? It's just, but don't do it too hard in one direction or it's going to get cocked in the steel and not come out. I mean the brass. It's going to keep coming at it from different angles, maybe get two. And you can pull the steel ring off and then the, 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 the green diaphragm down here will just pop right out. The difference between a healthy diaphragm and a messed up one, this is a healthy one. It came out all in one piece, okay? This is the um, one that was on my car that failed. It's wet with a bunch of um, lubricant right now. But half of it is still stuck in there and it's stuck in that the edge of it is almost like sort of dry glued to the metal, probably partially because it's been sitting around and for months. And uh, in order to pull it out, I'm having to basically stick a probe through the center of it and destroy it to get it to come out. The last thing you want to do is scratch the metal edges around there. So I actually opted to just poke it in the center and start yanking it out. And what it is, is it looks like it's two pieces, but it's not. This guy here has two layers, okay? And if it splits across this seam right here, then it does this, and it starts to fail on you, okay? So it's, it's, it's a dual layer thing, but it's not two pieces. It's actually supposed to just be one. I finally have this piece out, like I said, across this edge, it was kind of almost glued to the inside there along this ring. See how it's kind of green in there? And I can imagine you might want to take a little bit of very light Scotch-Brite and clean up that green ring because it should look like this. Just perfectly clean brass. That's coming out of a healthy pump, okay? This is coming out of one with 135 some odd thousand miles. So, it also could be that gasoline just interacts differently with this stuff than diesel does. You know, diesel's a great lubricant. I mean, gasoline's an okay lubricant, but diesel's different. So. Audi pump with a healthy diaphragm that I removed. My pump, 135,000 miles with an Audi diaphragm that I've just put in there. Would I use this Audi diaphragm? Yes, I would. I'd probably buy a new one, though, but it fits perfectly, and it's obviously the same exact part. Even these metal rings are the same part. I wouldn't be surprised if many of the internal parts are exactly the same.